Okay, let me come for next question. Question number 19. The radical which can be identified by borax base. Very, very important question commonly asked. Because borax bed test is commonly used for a number of metal ions. Number of metals. Alkali, alkali, earth metal, kyrage metals, the transition metals. A number of metals can be identified by borax bed test. So here, four options are given. Magnesium 2 plus, B, calcium 2 plus, C, Cu plus, and D, Cu2 plus. From my experience, I will explain now. The magnesium and calcium comes under the, the uh, alkali earth metals, they are colorless. And cuprous again colorless. So Cu2 plus may be the correct answer. Probably copper means blue may be the color. So let me explain now. What is borax bed test? Then I will explain. First, let me explain what is borax. Because this is most important question often repeated. So let me explain in detail. So it will be very useful for you. Borax is made up of two triangular and two tetrahedral units in the form of iron given. I will show the structure. The remaining eight water molecules are associated with the two sodium ion. Thus, borax will be better formulated as Na2B4O5 OH4 times dot 8H2O. That is the structure. Now see the structure. This is the structure of borax, sodium tetraborate. This is the structure. Kindly follow. Now it is uh, tetrahedron, the two triangular, and the tetrahedron is uh, the one, two, three, four. Again, actually, you can, you can uh, think of uh, two tetrahedron and uh, two triangular. So this is the most important. This one triangle, this is another triangle. This is one tetrahedron, this is another tetrahedron. Okay, this is the structure. Now let me come back. So what is happening here? A clear glass bed of borax fused in a wire loop, that is wire, that is normally platinum wire loop, will react chemically with the salts of many metals and yield suitable colors which help to identify the metals. So take the metallic salts in a suitable solvent and you take your platinum loop and just insert and show the uh, show over the flame. There are two things. One thing inside the flame you can show, outside the flame you can show. Inside flame you can think of it is the absence of oxygen. Outside means it is presence of oxygen. So outside you can think of oxidizing flame as well as reducing flames. So they will be having a different color. So here I am giving a list. Students. This you have to memorize, there is no other way. It is your duty you have to memorize. So antimony in oxidizing flame, yellow or grey color, that is, it is giving grey color. Barium in oxidizing flame, colorless, colorless. Kindly follow, second group metal. Cadmium, colorless in oxidizing flame, grey in reducing flame. Calcium, again second group, colorless, colorless. Cerium, it is red in oxidizing flame and again red in reducing flame. Copper, it is there and our question. Sky blue in oxidizing flame, red in reducing flame. Iron, yellow in oxidizing flame and bottle grey in reducing flame. The list continues. Manganese, pink in oxidizing flame, colorless in reducing flames. Nickel, yellow in oxidizing flame, gray in reducing flame. Vanadium, colorless in oxidizing flame, green in reducing flame. Uranium, yellow brown in oxidizing flame, green in reducing flame. Chromium, green in oxidizing flame, green in reducing flame. Platinum, colorless in oxidizing flame, gray in reducing flame. Gold, yellow brown in oxidizing flame, gray in reducing flame. List continues. Tin, colorless in oxidizing flame, again colorless in reducing flame. Titanium, colorless, colorless in oxidizing flame, yellow in reducing flame. Tungsten, 
colorless in oxidizing flame, brown in reducing flame. Magnesium, colorless in oxidizing flame, colorless again, kindly follow magnesium comes in the second group. The molybdenum, colorless under the oxidizing flame, yellow in reducing flame. Strangstium, it is coming again under the, the that is uh, strangstium bearing, it is a, that is second group, colorless, again colorless, both oxidizing and reducing flame. So lastly, thorium, it is colorless in oxidizing flame, again colorless in oxidizing flame. The interesting information here it is, the radical which can be identified boracist is copper 2 plus because it is giving, we have seen already, it's giving the color is can you follow sky blue. That is the answer. So you must to memorize these colors of these two metals.